Tomorrow, the Purple People Bridge reopens, kind of. After two months of inspections there, engineers say half of it is safe enough for foot traffic, which begs the question, what good is a partially open bridge? Reporter Larry Seward is in Newport with some answers. 700,000 people a year use that bridge. Authorities make money off parties and weddings held up there, but reopening in time for July 4th is more about giving sightseers and walkers safe access, and in literally hours, they'll be able to walk to the state line, which is almost all the way across the river. Stones near Pier 1 on the Ohio side fell into the Ohio River two months ago. The bridge closed. Now engineers think the Kentucky side is safe for foot traffic. So starting Thursday morning, barricades will move from the bridge entrance in Newport to the state line over the river. Reopening the rest of this bridge depends on how quickly the Newport South Bank Bridge Company can find crews available to fix the pier that needs reinforcement. Options range from a patch job that will likely hold for just a year to repairs that could last 100 years. I'd be shocked if we could find enough money to do the 100 year fix because that's a pretty substantial amount of money. But I do feel like we'll be able to do the intermediate mix. That will take at least a month. President Moreland, whose retirement actually starts on Thursday, could not give us a price tag, but he is happy to have at least part of the bridge reopened in time for the holiday. In Newport, Larry Seward, WCPO 9 News.